is uh, 5.15 on your Monday morning right now. Let's get your uh, weather and traffic situation started. Here's first our Riley O'Connor. We're talking a little bit about rainfall totals so far year to date, I guess, correct? Yeah, that's right. And we are behind just about uh, five and a half inches for our water year, which began October 1st. But there is some changes coming in the forecast where we could see maybe some of that rain coming in to help catch us up a little bit this week. I want to start you off this morning with a live look outside. Some high clouds out there. Mount Hood, beautiful shot this morning. 58 degrees, still fairly mild uh, in most areas. Is average low should be right around 55. Now we have those west northwest winds pretty light at about seven miles per hour. And you can see the temperature starting off in the lower 50s out on the west side, upper 50s out towards the east, mid to level or uh, mid level clouds out towards the coast this morning, starting right at 53 in Astoria and the Dallas. You've gone down two degrees and right now at 59. In fact, here's a live look at Cannon Beach this morning. Quiet morning for you. Nice morning to get that uh, jog. On the beach, I'll tell you what. Every time I run on the beach, it is just a workout. That's, I mean, I can, I can maybe do a couple miles. Alicia, I know that you run a lot, but I'll tell you what, it's a great workout on the beach. Four a day, beat that. Okay, you got me there. You got me there. <laughs> Here's the forecast for today. Now we're going to see these mid to high level clouds throughout the daytime period. Your lunch hour right around 74 degrees. Once we start to get into the late afternoon hours, is when I think that we might see uh, some of those bubbling clouds over the uh, the Cascades, which could lead to maybe an isolated thunderstorm coming in toward that direction. So if you are traveling out towards the Cascades day, just keep an eye to the sky. It's a slight chance, but still going to be there. So as we look at the big picture today, we've really been staying quiet over the weekend. The ridge of high pressure has been in place. We are seeing this system right here that's going to start to move in. It's fairly weak. So as the day goes on, we're going to continue to see clouds thicken out towards the coast. We'll see clouds thickening overnight here in the valley, and that is going to lead to the chance of a few showers. But right now, statewide, we are dry. So as we go ahead and time it out for you, always follow the timeline right here. Notice how we start to get into the afternoon hours and we see a few of these pop up uh, clouds and showers right here over the Cascades. What I'm going to be watching is the eastern slopes of the Cascades. I think it's the best chance to see a few of them. Uh, they could roll into parts of the valley, so we're going to have to watch this the further south you get. But again, it's going to be a slight chance of that one. Overnight tonight is when I think we have the best chance to see some light rain, and I'm talking maybe about uh, five hundredths of an inch or less. Tomorrow will stay unsettled with a mix of sun and clouds, and we will see some spotty showers coming in. Possibly by tomorrow morning, we might have an isolated shower sitting right over the metro area, as the model suggesting. And then off towards the west, we have a little bit more widespread rainfall, and that's going to start to advance in as the day goes on. So your forecast for today, 60s out towards the coast, lower 80s for the valley, and again, clouds thicken as the day goes on towards the evening. Slight chance of that isolated storm, most likely over the Cascades today, but still a nice warm day for you in Pendleton at 90 and 87 in the Dalles and government camp today, right around 70 degrees and lower 80s through the gorge with a chance of those showers coming in for tonight. So the pattern will be unsettled coming in and uh, cooler. Now, once we get into uh, Wednesday into Thursday, we could have a few downpours coming in at that time period as well as Friday. Uh, but other than that, really, it's just going to be some light rain from time to time with temperatures between about, uh, we'll go 69 and 75 degrees. Not yeah, bad. That's not